Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've tried to deform this plastic with a heat gun and this head of a wrench and it's deforming in a direction I don't want it to. So the next plan is to cut out a section for the cable. So I've cut the hole out and I've just tidied the edges off with the heat gun and I've made a cut in the lid to match the cut in the box. And the cable fits in there perfectly. I'll just use the heat gun to tidy up the edges again. So there we have the exit hole for the cables. So now what I need to do is cut out a rough circle around the motor. I'm just going to drill a hole in the centre and then I'm going to use a circular cutter. As I hope you can see that's a perfect fit for the Y and now I'll go and cut a similar size hole for the X. Okay let's have a drill here. I'm doing this low speed because if I try and do the same thing high speed it's just going to melt everything. Okay I'm through let's see if that lines up. So that now turns Having tested in principle that the X and the Y work and the enclosure works, I now need to extend the Y along the travel of the bed. So there's going to be a slot down the side and what I'm going to do is to mark it up and then cut the three circles. When you're cutting the holes, don't get impatient. I got impatient and I applied too much pressure to this cutter and I ended up cracking the plastic. So there's the slot. So other than the damage caused by my impatience, the enclosure works. The next thing I'm going to do, I think, is actually to put some um, other plastic around the outside edge of this so I can seal it in like a bubble. Otherwise I'm going to get stuff coming out when the spin spins. After a very short hunt for a suitable piece of plastic, I remember that I'd kept this wrapper that went around on one of those CD caddies. So what I'm going to do is to cut that, see if that'll do the job. So I've bent the plastic and I've used some tape to tape the plastic in place. And I've tested the Y traverse and the X traverse to make sure nothing's catching. And I now have a sealed enclosure that works perfectly. I hope you like the video. If you find it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.